Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a single click download button in Divi using the download attribute. So this is the final result that we're aiming for so without wasting a lot of time let me show you how we managed to create this. Throughout this video we'll be using some CSS and some JavaScript code. Now if you'd like to follow along I will include a link to the post in the show notes below. So before we get started, let's start by defining what a direct download link is. Now what a direct download link is, it's a link that starts to download the file on click instead of linking to it in your browser window. Creating a direct download link or a button usually requires adding some advanced PHP on your server side. This means you have to modify your .ht access file and or JavaScript. Unless you know what you're doing, this may cause some security problems. So doing it that way is quite complicated. So the good news is HTML5 recently introduced the download attribute. So this is what we're gonna be going through in today's tutorial. So some of the ways you can use this download attribute is to, let's say you have a, an ebook offer that you need to give away. You know, you can use this that way. So when someone clicks that link or the button, as soon as they click, the ebook uh, downloads. So what we're going to do here is to create a brand new page. So I've created a page and I've named it download. Okay, so you can either use the visual builder or the default builder. So I'm just going to go into the visual builder. So I'm going to click on use visual builder and then I'm going to add a single row. And this is going to be a text module. Okay, so let's paste our download attribute. So I'm just gonna paste it here in my text mode. So we can see here on the right, it's showing that uh, this is now a link called download link. So how this works is, this is where you paste your link to where your file is that you need to download. And then this is where you can add a description to the download link. The download attribute also allows you to designate a file name other than the original file name. Simply add the new name as a value of the download attribute. So, so in this case, what it'll do is, I'm just going to paste the code in here. So here where it says new name, this is where you can uh, adjust this and change the name to whatever you want. So by using this download equals, it just makes it easier for you to add a shorter name. Now, because this download attribute is quite new, it may not be supported on all browsers. So it's always a good idea to add a target equals underscore blank. So this is what we're going to use. So let's do an example here and um, let me show you how this would work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new tab and find a file that I need to share. So I'm just going to go to my website, go to my media library. So I'm going to go to my dashboard media library. So I'm going to choose one of these images. So I'm going to click on this one, take this URL. So I'm going to highlight the whole URL, copy it, and then come back here to us, to our page. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to paste my URL right here because that's the file that I need to uh, people to download. Okay, so now that I've added it, all I'm going to do now is to save this. And then I'm going to save the page to and exit the visual builder. Now, if we click this link, this download link, this should automatically download our file. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and we can see straight away it's downloading and it's now on my downloads folder. So let's say you don't want to use the text as a link and you want to add a button. So the quickest way to do this is to add the et underscore pb underscore button class. So let's do that. So let's go in back into our visual builder. I'm just going to go into the settings and I am going to paste. We can see here we've added the class et underscore pb underscore button. So straight away, once you've added that class, it creates the button. In the next example, we're going to create a direct download button with Divi's button module. So to do that, I'm just going to save this for now and uh, I'm just going to add a single row and the module is going to be a button. Okay, so what we need to do first is to add the button text. So we can call this download now. The link needs to be the link to the actual file that you want people to download. So I'm gonna come over here to my media library and copy this link one more time. And then I'm going to paste it in the button URL like that. 
Now, this is very important. It's always good practice to open this in a new tab. So I'm just going to select that and then I'm going to go ahead and save changes. And then finally, we need to go into the advanced tab and add our class. So I'm going to come over here to CSS ID and classes and add our class. And our class is just et dash download dash button. Okay, so now that we have that in place, the final thing now is to add the JavaScript. So I'm going to go ahead now and save changes. So in this new tab, I'm going to add my JavaScript. So I'm going to come over here to Divi theme options. So I'm going to go to integration and make sure that my my script goes into the head part of our website. So I'm just going to stretch this until I see where my last code was entered. And then I'm just going to add a few lines and then paste my code. And as I mentioned earlier on, if you'd like to follow along, the code that we're using throughout this tutorial can be found on the post, which I'll link in the show notes below. All right. So now that I've added my, all my code, I'm going to go ahead and click on save changes. And now let's go ahead and take a look at our page. So I'm just going to come here and save. And then I'm going to exit the visual builder and test the links. Okay, so now if I click on this straight away, you can see that our file is downloading to our computer. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.